Welcome to another edition of Always Analog, where we explore the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. And today we are going to take a look at the Tennessee Red Pencil from the Musgrave Pencil Company uh, in Shelbyville, Tennessee, USA. Um, a few episodes ago, I shared with you an order that I had received from Musgrave Pencil <clears throat> with a whole bunch of different uh, assorted pencils I had ordered, one of them being this. So I want to take a closer look, and that, that was just an unpacking of the, of the uh, package with the different pencils, so we want to take a closer look at each of them. And I was most anxious to really look at this Tennessee Red here um, and see what this pencil was all about. This is a relatively new pencil to the Musgrave line and it's Tennessee Red down here at the bottom. It says Genuine Tennessee Red Cedar Wood Cased Pencils and it's in this beautiful red box now here on the end, there's a circle with three stars in it. I'm not quite sure what that signifies, if that has something to do with Tennessee or the pencil company. Have to research that. Uh, has the Musgrave Pencil Company imprint, uh, the Musgrave logo on the other end of the box there. And, and then here, Again, Musgrave Pencil Company, Genuine Tennessee Red Cedar on the side. Uh, and this is a, uh, a slide out kind of compartment box here. And we'll slide that out and look at these beautiful, beautiful pencils. Um, they are gorgeous. They are in the natural cedar. Uh, they have a clear uh, coat of uh, some sort of shellac varnish on them uh, to just give them a little bit of a gloss. They have a bright um, gold ferrule at the end and a white eraser. Uh, and the white really pops against this beautiful wood grain uh, of the pencil. And then you have the imprint on the pencil itself. Uh, Musgrave Pencil Company Genuine Tennessee Red Cedar imprinted there in red. Uh, this is a hexagonal shaped pencil. And you can smell, I'm, I, it has that cedar fragrance to it, and I will bet it will be even more pronounced once we get one of these sharpened. But this is just a really handsome, handsome pencil, and I just love the, I just love the natural <clears throat> grain, uh, you know, rather than painting it, uh, just being able to see the beautiful wood color here on these pencils. So, you know, that's a, that's a beautiful box of pencils right there. Um, and I really, really think they did a nice, nice job with this. So I'm going to, uh, let's take this one and let me sharpen it here. So we've got a nice point on it now. And um, let's, let's see, let's get some paper here. Um, go and take a, do a writing, some writing here. Let's see what we've got. This is the Musgrave Pencil Company. Let 
Now, it's interesting, it doesn't indicate um, anywhere on the pencil or on the box where what the hardness of the core is. Um, I would say it's at least a 2 HB. Uh, it is a little on the softer side. It's a very, very smooth writing pencil. Um, and, you know, just in the couple of lines I've written, the point has gone down a little bit. So it's not a super hard core, um, but it is very smooth to write with. And I would say it's, it almost feels like it's a two, a soft two, uh, in terms of its drag across the page in, in writing with this. Let's, uh, you can see it's a dark line. Get it a little closer here. And we have a little smudge factor. Um, let's go ahead and do some erasing uh, with uh, a couple of different erasers. Let's start with the standard pink pearl and see how that does. Pretty good. Now let's try the eraser that is actually on the top of the, the pencil. This white feels like a, some sort of a, I don't know if it's a rubber or a vinyl eraser. Yeah, it's okay. Not as good as the pink pearl uh, in terms of removing the image. Um, we'll try here. A vinyl. Pretty good. Uh, what else do I have? I've got a rubber eraser here. Okay. Well, in terms of erasability, um, there's still a shadow there uh, from all the erasers that I've tried. I would say the thing that removed the graphite the best was the pink pearl. Um, and, I, you know, this is in large part, I think, because of the, the darkness of the graphite. Um, the core uh, is, leaves a dark impression. And, of course, those are... Um, harder to get rid of on any paper. So let's see, we'll try, we'll try doing some writing here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, really nice to write with. And you can hear how quiet it is. Uh, pencils do make a little noise uh, depending on the, the core, the graphite. And um, uh, this one's fairly quiet, uh, which will tell you how about the the hardness or softness of the graphite and the smoothness, and it is very smooth.
The superior man is modest in his speech, but exceeds in his actions. Confucius. Um, Adversity is the midwife of genius. Napoleon. You know you're getting old when the candles cost more than the cake. Bob Hope. How true. Funny. So, uh, yeah, boy, this uh, Musgrave Tennessee Red, let me give it another, let me give it another sharpen here. Um, use one of these manual sharpeners. A little point on it. Uh, whoop. Love it. Uh, very comfortable pencil to write with. Smooth, soft, quiet. And an absolutely beautiful, beautiful instrument. Look at that. That is a, that is a nice looking pencil by any measure. So, uh, and a joy to write with. And I will look forward to, to <clears throat> getting out my, my pads and my notebooks and keeping one of these at all times in my pencil case to use. So, uh, highly recommend. This is the Genuine Tennessee Red Cedar Pencil from the Musgrave Pencil Company in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Thanks so much for spending a few minutes with me and we look forward to seeing you again here on Always Analog.